Good afternoon, Mr. Chairman. I'm Craig Cloud, Director of Aging and Adult Services, Department of Human Services. My name is Tim Lampe. I'm the Project Director of the DHS Program Management Office. All right, thank you. And without any objection, you may notice on the agenda, I'm going to let DHS come to the table first because uh, we have representatives from Pine Bluff Psychological Associates, which actually administer the assessment tool. That will get to the question Representative Miller had, but I think with the line of question we've had so far, uh, be interested in having DHS start off first. So with that being said, if we'll just start down the list of questions, and when we get down to the bottom of the list of questions, uh, members, if you will, just write yours down. We'll start recognizing you in order. Uh, first of all, can you tell us when the department contract with CHMAC and Med Compass actually began and give us some oversight or some insight as to why we had this in the first place? Contract began on May 4, 2011. CHMAC uh, uh, furnished a product 23 months later in about April of 13 where DAS went in production. On July 2013, in my former position as the Director of Quality Assurance, Mr. Selig and the DHS IT Steering Committee asked me to review the CHMAC product called MedCompass Application. In July of 2013, I formed a team of IT data management experts. We reviewed that CHMAC Med Compass application, and in September 20th, we issued them a letter where we stopped payment because we had three primary concerns. One is the functionality in a disconnect environment. For example, if it's not in the interconnect or if it's not in the internet connected environment, the assessor can go on and do work and then when they complete their work, get back in a connected environment, upload the data to the application. Number two, reports. Reports did not work. When the reports ran, they brought back incomplete data, no data, inaccurate data, all that stuff of that nature. Number three, had an issue with configuration management. Uh, we were hosting the application in DHS, so when CHMAC would make an edit to their application, it usually runs with a script, so you put the new version online. We had to get engineers involved with the department, network engineers, to see if that would work. I asked for a corrective action plan in that September 2013 letter to be delivered in 45 days, and I asked for a fully functional product in 60 days. They gave me a cap six days later, which I approved, they delivered a fully functional product in, no, in November. We tested that product to f February, and we resumed payments. <laughs> After February, I had a discussion with the Office of Chief Counsel that I had no faith that as we move forward, they brought in additional functionality into this application that it would work for a long-standing uh, period of time. Therefore, in March of 2014, we told CHMAC we would not renew their annual agreement, which came up in May of 2014, because their product would not work. And we kind of put it on life support. We didn't do any major enhancements. So when May of 2014 came, we ended our relationship with CHMAC. All right, so we'll kind of go down these questions and answer some, but per, per the terms of the contract, what was the contract services that CHMAC Med Compass was going to perform for DHS? you anything new to add to that? We were looking for two major functionality. One is to do assessments where independent assessors would assess the DAS population. Later on, the DD population came on board. And the second phase of uh, major functionality we are looking was plan of care functionality. That were, we, were those people that were assessed, it would be a place to record their service delivery. If you think about it as like an electronic medical record, but from assessment nature, it would include all the information to whether it was the citizen or the guardian of that individual could see, the provider community could see, or the DHS people could see. So we try to look at a plan of care, care coordination functionality. All right, and Mr. Cloud, you jump in, you got anything to say along the way, otherwise I'm going to keep moving, okay? Um, we, we, I think we got an idea about whether they met the terms of their contract, but the next question is, why did the state then continue to process contract draws 
for the payment of CH Mac. I mean, what what was it that was the straw that broke the camel's back that you issued payments, but then you decided not to? Why did we go as far as we did? Well, when I discussed with the Office of Chief Counsel, there was really no uh, strong language in the statement of work. This thing was not on a contract; it was on a purchase order. So, on advice of legal counsel, we couldn't seek any penalties or remedies or recoupments. The only option that that I got advice on is that at the annual renewal, we should not renew for another year or another extended period of time. 